identified as the danger man for that? Uh, I think what we've done is we've we've more than the danger man. I think what we we, we turn more time on is actually the structure uh, of how they play and sort of we always look for targeting. Obviously, we identify the strengths and weaknesses. We want to do something about their weakness, uh, their strengths, but also trying to exploit ways that we can, you know, we can get our win from the weekend. Uh, so do you have special plans to do with our uh, big front rowers? Yeah, I mean, what, what we do is we always look at, again, it's just, um, we spend a lot of time on our research, if you like, and, uh, and what we would do is we would automatically look at their big front rowers uh, and have a look at particularly the scrum, and we've, we've identified that, you know, a lot of the scrums are reset. We, we, are, we look for trends as to certain players and what positions they try to get in. And, uh, and then obviously we've got to counteract that with, with our own ideas. Greg Laidlaw, the most accurate kicker in the Six Nations, statistically. How careful are you going to have to be not to let him finish it? We always, we always try and keep... Well, there's, there's quite a few statistics about sort of if you can keep below 10 penalties in leagues that you generally, you know, you give yourself a, a, a massive chance of winning the game. So we always work hard on our discipline. We understand that occasionally that there are penalties given away whether that's a referee's interpretation or, or whatever reason. Um, I think probably the best thing to do is if you do give a penalty away in any way that it's not even within his kicking range. So, uh, and then, you know, because obviously we don't want to be piggybacking them into the game, if you like. Are they good to be back at home? You've done six out of the last eight there. Yeah, I mean, we, 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 we are sort of... Um, I think that we, it was something that we targeted at the start of the season where we wanted to... You know, make our ground a a place that's tough to come and win. We don't want to give anything away cheaply, and I think that you know we're having a couple of top teams up over the past sort of few weeks, if you like. That um, you know they, they have come unstuck, so we want to continue that. We we don't want to make it an easy place to come. We want to just you know, which is obviously for our own crowd as well. It's it's always good to get a team that wins. Say after losing quite narrowly last time, are you out for revenge this time? Um, I I don't think it's necessarily revenge. It's, it, we just it was dis it was hugely disappointing when we we obviously we uh, we felt as if we were in well we were in in control in the first half and then let it slip in the second half. It's it's something that obviously proves that Gloucester can be a really attacking and dangerous team. And what we want to do is make sure that yeah it doesn't happen again.